There's nothing more important than to have a strong, healthy cardiovascular system. I want to talk about a very important vitamin, vitamin K2. And many of you probably haven't heard about it. Now we think of vitamin K as blood clotting. Vitamin K1 is primarily found in green leafy vegetables. Vitamin K2 is found in animal foods as well as fermented foods. But science has proven that vitamin K2 can prevent calcium buildup in the arteries, prevent that clogging of the arteries, particularly when vitamin K2 is available. But I also want to tell you that there is nothing that can compare to a healthy diet, no supplement. So let me first tell you some common foods where you can get your vitamin K2 from. Natto is a Japanese dish made from fermented soybeans and it's filled with vitamin K2. Eel offers another seafood alternative. There are many types of cheeses that have high amounts of vitamin K2 as well. Beef liver, chicken, butter, sauerkraut, egg yolks. Yes, that yolk is quite powerful when it comes to the health of our body. So let me get right to the nuts and bolts. When we take calcium in our body, and we can get that from many, many sources, from dark green leafy vegetables, to dairy, to almond, almond milk, uh, it's very simple to get calcium. Do not supplement calcium unless your doctor really tells you to. But what's important is vitamin D. And obviously the best source of our vitamin D is our sunlight. And because sunlight can be dangerous from those ultraviolet rays, as well as not getting in the sun as much as we should, we become deficient in vitamin D. We need vitamin D to allow calcium to be assimilated into our system, particularly the bones. Now here's the big kicker, vitamin K2 prevents vitamin K2, I'll say it again, prevents that calcium from going into the vessels that if that calcium starts building up in the blood vessels, it can start obstructing blood to the heart, which we call a heart attack or the brain that we call a stroke. So this limits the amount of calcium to get into those vessels and brings it into those bones to keep your bones strong, to prevent osteoporosis. So here's the bottom line. There are two types of supplements you'll hear of when it comes to getting your vitamin K2. You have MK4 and MK7. MK4 has a shorter half-life than it does than MK7. Also, MK4 gets in your system quicker, but it doesn't stay in your system. MK7, you could take once a day. You'll notice uh, when you look at the supplements, it will say from 90, to 100 micrograms, which is common, anywhere up to 200 micrograms. But I like to take with vitamin D because vitamin D is a key player because vitamin D has an effect on so many different metabolic and chemical changes that take place in our body. But that's strictly optional for you. But again, I'll say it again, that there's nothing like getting it from your food. So Google the best foods that have vitamin K2 in it, get it from foods first, that will make a tremendous difference for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.